If you're hungry, you're in trouble. If you're not, you soon will be. As we chat with the family owners of the Candy Cake Bakery and Restaurant in Puerto Penasco on this edition of the Rocky Point Podcast. Welcome Puerto Penasco lovers. This is the Rocky Point Podcast with award-winning host Thomas Baldrick. Hello, I'm Thomas Baldrick. Thanks for being with us on the Rocky Point Podcast. The point of this episode is sweetness. I'm trying to be sweet to all of you who come to Puerto Penasco hungry, all of you who are foodies, all of you who have a sweet tooth. And I'm also trying to be sweet to our guest today, the Hernandez family, simply because I am so impressed with what you've created. So, bienvenidos. Thank you. Thank you. Monica, I'll start with you. I laugh at myself. I've been laughing at myself. Our first conversation was over the phone. Mm -hmm. And I was at the restaurant and they put me on the phone with you. And I must have sounded like an idiot because I was telling you, the food here is amazing. I just got a cake. I don't even have a sweet tooth. It was amazing. And I'm doing this podcast and you have to come on and not a... I had to sound like a loony (laughs) tune. Well, it was it was nice. It was nice to hear that. So I've told other people about your place and they go over and then they feel compelled to call me and say, oh, that's amazing. Did you have the, the, the German chocolate cake or at breakfast? Amazing. What's it like to hear people use that word amazing with what you do? Well, really happy to tell the truth is like every time that we hear a client saying that it's like all the work we have done with the bakery, it's right now is really recognized. Omar, what do you think about this? Sorry for my English. No, I'm I'm in your country. Okay. He's really happy with the comments and the people, all the work and we have done. We have already 20 years in the business and Marilyn now our daughter is quite a bit listening to all those people right now. So yeah, we're really happy about it. Let's talk about the history of this place. How did you get started? What's the story behind it? I took some classes of bakery and, and all those those desserts. Basically, I was just going to do it for my house, for my family. People that had tried the desserts and have tried the cakes with me and, and tell me, why do you do for for business? Why don't you do try it for selling all those kind of desserts? And I'm like, well, probably I was working and in, in the time I was working for a real estate, everything was good. I would never in my life have thought to open in a bakery. We sold the first cakes, everything really good. And I was still working and I opened the bakery and uh, we decided finally to go ahead 100% with going with the bakery. And I quit my job. That's the way we started. It's a lot of work. It's 100% work. You have to be into it. My kids were small. We had like probably around five years uh, married, but we, we did it. We did it. We have we had to bake, bake in the night and we have to do a lot of things, but it was well worth it right now. So and Omar, what were you doing then when you made the plunge into full-time candy cake? He's a lawyer. I'm He's, a lawyer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in, la misma, in, the, in the same company with Monica, in my work. Uh, do you uh, still do before, that? Before to candy cake, yeah. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Well, he's a full full lawyer right now for the bakery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a job? I want to be the I want to be the food tester. Oh yeah, right. that's yeah, what I want. Definitely. So, I've traveled a lot in my life. Mm-hmm. When you go to a certain city. There are people who say, I want to go where the locals go. Don't take me to the tourist places. And then other people, I want to go where the popular places are, and they go to where the tourists go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The candy cake, you've pulled off the nearly impossible, and that you are both a popular restaurant and bakery for both the locals who live here year-round and then the Americanos and the others who come to visit here. Omar, you and I talked about that. How did you do that? That's hard. (laughs) <laughs> yeah okay. really hard the local people you know different uh celebrations but the old year it's our clients american people are tourists and they're welcome yeah it's very welcome it's the plus for us got it yeah same service the perfect service for every everybody comes to the bakery you know i, I don't really understand me but uh, i do yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's for us the locals is 100% is like every time we have them there is all year long. 
breakfast uh, and bakery and everything. A lot of people tell us, hey, why don't you raise up your prices? They're really cheap. And to tell the truth, they are cheap. We have little, really nice prices yes. and we do it more for the locals and two because of the American people. But most of the American people say that it's mm -hmm. like your prices are cheap. So that's right. really good to nice to hear from us is like know your customers, know your audience, but it's still nice. Yes, yes, yes. What's the recipe for how this all works? A lot of love, mm -hmm. a lot of love into it. It's so funny. It I, I, I have to be honest. Later, I had a question that I wanted to ask you. So my son and I, we're a little two-person family, mm -hmm. and we like to bake brownies and chocolate chip cookies for people, partly because he likes the job of being the, the taster. Mm -hmm. People rave about them, and they're not the best. I know that. I'm, not, I'm by no means qualified to work in your kitchen. But I tell him all the time, if you just put love into something, it makes a difference. Yes. So you believe yes. that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Sure. It's something that we have practiced and we have done for many years since uh, my mom used to tell me that. And uh, sometimes when my mom used to tell me that, it was like, I don't think it's that. But yeah, you need that to do something. It seems like a lot. Good food is part of good times that you remember growing up. Mm -hmm. Was that the case in your families? How oh, important was food? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, and Mexican family is like, those are the moments when you gather all the family together when you make food or we prepare something. Like for us, for example, Sundays is a family in the if it, family day. And the first thing we do is like, where are we going to eat? Where are we going to go? Where are we going to prepare? And how about you, Omar? Same thing? Yeah, same thing. Uh, it's, uh, for example, nuestra familia, our family is, is algo bien importante. Yeah, it's, 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 it's family for us, and the food is the first thing. Yeah. We All right, so tell the truth, Omar. Did you fall in love before you knew she could cook and bake, <laughs> or did that happen as just a bonus? <laughs> I didn't know how to cook, to tell the truth. <laughs> I didn't. I know how to get there, so I'm coming into town on Benito Juarez, and right before I get to the Burger King on the right, mm -hmm. I know to make the left before the Pemex gas station. Mm -hmm. But why don't you tell people in an official way where you're located? As soon as you get the baseball stadium, the first gas station you will be coming into town to will be to your left side. Ask anywhere you are. Everyone will tell you how to get there. They will let you know where we are. I follow yeah. my tummy growling. <laughs> so let's go over the uh, important business stuff, like what hours, days you're open, take credit cards, that kind of stuff. Okay, bakery and uh, pastry and everything is open uh, 7.30 a.m. until 9 p.m. It's the same thing. Eight to After 8 in the morning, we open with the restaurant. And uh, we have lunch, and we close at 5. When we started, we didn't have the credit card Um Why? Because we had a lot of problems with internet. Right. That was that was one of the problems Heard that, that we had. Before. Yeah, yep. and a lot of Americans they were like, "Come on!" It's like I don't have any cash, and and they were like used to get really mad. I remember. So mm -hmm. what we did is that we stopped doing that because of our internet problems and all that. Not because we have the problem. It's like right. Rocky Point has a problem right. here. Right, right, right. Probably we're looking forward to have it soon. Okay. So, but you take reservations. We do take reservations. Okay. Yes. And uh, there's parking, plenty of parking. I've oh, seen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also people want to know about Wi-Fi. Do you have Wi-Fi? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we do. Everything. Why you need Wi-Fi to get pastries or breakfast, I don't know. <laughs> so why don't we take a break? We'll come back. We'll look at the menu and okay. uh, we'll bring in the young starlet of the family. Okay. Okay. Yes. When we continue right here on the Rocky Point Podcast. Thanks for being with us. Rocky Point lovers, our ship has finally come in. Thanks to cruise and maritime voyages. Our friends from the UK have invested heavily in turning the longtime dream of a cruise destination into reality. Introducing the treasures of the Sea of Cortez cruise. This one-of-a-kind experience sells round-trip from Puerto Penasco, embarking on an 11-night discovery of some of Mexico's best-kept secrets. Enjoy breathtaking natural wonders, amazing wildlife, spectacular islands, and destinations such as Mazda 
Mazlatan, Cabo San Lucas, La Paz, and more. Sail in an intimate, luxurious setting on board the Astoria, a lovely ship with room for only 550 passengers. She features delicious onboard cuisine, activities, entertainment, and service second to none. There are only six voyages between December and February, so book now and turn Puerto Penasco's dream cruise into yours by taking the treasures of the Sea of Cortez cruise. As part of the Rocky Point podcast, you can save $200 by getting a free one-category upgraded cabin for two. Just use the code RPP. That's a $200 value with the code RPP. Don't worry, you'll find all this information on our website at rockypointpodcast.com. Discover your slice of Rocky Point Paradise at Sonoran Sun 510 East. This all newly redone one-bedroom condo has the beachiest theme in Puerto Penasco, spectacular views of the Sea of Cortez, and spectacular online reviews from real guests like these. Exceptional, adorable condo with attentive service, amazing in every way. This place is unbelievable. You will not want to leave. Beautiful, clean, comfortable, and cozy. We will definitely be back. Sonoran Sun 510 East has five star ratings on Airbnb and VRBO. With perfect tens on Booking.com, the site made the condo one of its top picks, calling it a Booker's favorite. Want a place to relax, rejuvenate, rekindle romance? Just search Sonoran Sun 510 East to watch the YouTube videos. Book online or book direct and save by calling 602 688 3330. That's 602 688 3330. Create your own amazing guest experience. Stay and play at Sonor and Sun 510 East. Now back to the Rocky Point Podcast. Welcome back to the Rocky Point Podcast. I'm Thomas Baldrick with the Hernandez family, owners of the fabulous Candy Cake Restaurant and Bakery in Puerto Penasco. Monica, mom, why don't you do the honors and introduce this young lady on your right and brag about her? Because <laughs> I know you want to. Yes, uh, Marilyn, it's uh, my daughter here. She's, uh, she come into the bakery, it was like five years ago when she finished school, uh, university. You know how young kids are, but she wanted to explore the world. Mm -hmm. She wanted to go to Mexico City. She was in Spain, so she wanted to go back to Spain and and work. What we did here at the family, my mom and, and I, we mentioned, why don't you open a place? And why don't you open something in the bakery and something that you can do and not start working and what you study and practice get along and if you don't like it you mm-hmm. can go back whatever you want to go and she goes okay i'm gonna try something and see how it goes so and that's what happened you know, all, all the breakfast is her idea all the plates all the has to be with the breakfast and lunch is her whole idea and a lot of things at the bakery now going on it comes there's ideas from her. She comes with new ideas. She comes with a lot of publicity coming into from American people. Mm-hmm. She was the one who got into that. A lot of practice for the people that we have right now serving is all her idea. She can tell you more about it. What's it like to be a superstar? <laughs> She's my mom, so. Your bad. mom and dad are um, very proud of you. Yes. Breakfast, it was like a little project and... Today, I think it's more biggest than you ever thought that it was going to be. Yes. I had the waffles yesterday morning with eggs and bacon, and that was ridiculously good. What is the most popular item or items on the breakfast menu? It's the chilaquiles, the omelet chilaquiles and the chilaquiles. The salsa, it's really, really good. The red salsa and the green salsa, it's 100% natural. So I think that's why. It's so popular. And the French toast. The French toast is homemade bread. It's the recipe of my father. The cream cheese is a recipe of my mom. And the idea, I, like, I take the right. recipes of all the family and the French toast is really famous. All the recipes in the bakery, we do it from scratch. We are the type of owners that it's a, it's a recipe you're never going to have in another place. And the shrimp omelet, you, <laughs> you do have a blessing there because you get the shrimp here. Yes. Oh my God. Shrimp is fresh. Why is fresh? Because my father owns shrimp boats. And then that's the shrimp you're getting every time. Okay. Now I do have to criticize you about one thing. So we're going to put the love to the side of the room for a second. 
So I remember the first time I had breakfast at your place and I saw divorced eggs. <laughs> so having been divorced, I think, oh my God, so what happens? I, I order the divorced eggs and then somebody else gets half of it? How does that work? <laughs> but you know why the divorced eggs? Tell you, me. You got it? Well, they're because they're separate in different salsas. That's yes. why. Okay. That's why they call divorce eggs. Yes. Okay. <laughs> let's get out of breakfast after that thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and let's talk about lunch. Mm -hmm. The people tell me, I have 30 minutes in the line, and I don't want to take a breakfast. That's why I, I take... She came with a yes. little idea. Yes. That's why. And, there uh, was, sometimes they were so big, the line... They wanted to have breakfast probably by 12. They go, you know what? I don't want a breakfast. You have something else that is not breakfast. Yes. Right. So that's how it came out, the idea, yes. What are your thoughts about delivering to people and people just wanting to be able to come pick up their food and dash out the door? To tell the truth, Marilyn wanted to go into it. We have tried before. She came in along. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we used to send the person with the with the cake and the person used to call me and say, hey, I got this cake all messed up the strawberry came from the down uh, and the cake came all messed up so we had those kind of problems you're not going to have a client satisfied with that so you have to like carry out with a lot of love and with that you know so it's really difficult to have that Marilyn started then with the food she said okay no more with the cakes now we're going to do it with the food it came the same thing you've brought some goodies thank mm -hmm. you for that and talk about the great people that you have on the staff that make this happen well right now working with us is we have 33 people kitchen bakery restaurant most of the people that they're working with us we have many years some of them have 15 years 10 years eight years so yeah we try to be really a family thing with the people we have in and with the staff. That's really important for us. They are comfortable, so people can be comfortable too. Right. If they're happy, our our clients can be happy. So and we happy too. All right. So what do we have here? This one is a tart and it's made of cream cheese. It's a cream cheese that we do it on the house too. And it has a layer of peaches and a layer of strawberries. For a lot of our clients is one of the favorites because if they don't like a lot of whipped cream, that's their favorite. Okay. Okay. And right next to it, it has German chocolate. The layers of German chocolate, two of coconut, it's in the center. So they are two layers and the and chocolate uh, frosting too. And the coconut is not store-bought. It literally <laughs> fell out of the tree. <laughs> yes. We do coconut flakes prepared in the house. Yeah, it's from, made from scratch. It's nothing that you can go buy at the store. No. We do it at the at the bakery, yes. You better love what you're doing. <laughs> yes. Let me tell you. It's a lot of work. It's like we can never say I can have a Sunday off or a, a Saturday off or evening. It's always that you have to be there. How hard is that on the family? Difficult. <laughs> okay. You're, you're not married, right? No. Okay. So we'll get married when this is all done. But um, <laughs> um, I'll see. I threw myself off, Marilyn. <laughs> What's it like for you being younger? It's got to be hard on your social life. It is, but I love candy cakes, so I really enjoy all the, the days mm -hmm. with the employees. Someone asks me about the, the employees are like your friends, and yeah. I, I tell her, no, they are not my friends. They are my family, my second family, because sometimes I stay more with them that with my own parents <laughs> yes yeah. she spends more time with employees than even with us yeah sometimes we don't see her in all day this is one of the reasons why i thought you had to do this because when you come here as a tourist and you come to rocky point you're here to live fully you're here to just even if you're, this has got to be a hard place to come if you're on a diet and you can't you know have so <laughs> But you, you come, and good food is so much a part of having a good trip or a yes. good vacation or yes. whatever. It's just it's it's a part of it. Yeah, when you're on vacations, you say I'm off on my diet right now. Yeah, even even if you are in a diet or if you're not in a diet. So yeah. I joke not. with my son that if I worked at your place, I would be 500 kilos, <laughs> and he's like, Dad, you know how much that is? And I said, Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's at the beginning you have you try a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when you're into it all day, it's like, oh, my God, you cannot try anymore. We eat so much sometimes when we like something that we don't eat anymore when we like no more because right. we ate so much that we don't like anymore. That's what happens with us, and we do that in the bakery. Is there something you just say, this is the best thing we make? I can tell you that everything 
And every cake that I try and I do is my favorite. I love everything. I love all my all the single cake I do is fruit cake, tart cake, German chocolate, choco flan. Every cake is for me is great. So you're a mom and all the things on the menu are your kids and mm-hmm. you love them all equally. Yes. Even though some may get on your nerves at times. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> some of them are more difficult to do than others. Yes. And sometimes they get me stressful, but it doesn't have to do anything with the flavor. The flavor is great in every cake. Yeah. Okay, ladies, here's your chance. What do you want to tell people about why, if they haven't been to Candy Cake, why they should come? Okay. Do you need to try the, the, the cakes, the donuts, the coffee, the breakfast, the lunch, the desserts? But some people can't eat a cake for breakfast. I always see that. Mm-hmm. So a donut with coffee would have a lot of options. We have fresh. many things in a, just one place. You don't have to go to five places to have the five things or more things that we can offer you. If for us, it's like everything we do, we do it fresh. It's one of the secrets that we, I think we do, uh, people love so much. Everything is fresh. Mm-hmm. I can tell you, everything is fresh. The bread is not going to have more than three days or two days or when it is fresh. This bread right now is just baked in the morning. My husband did it uh, two hours ago, so it's fresh. In every cake you try, it's going to be that way. And that's what we tr- try to do. Like everything we do, the donuts are made fresh every morning. And everything is, is, we have a lot of love into it. If you haven't been there, I will recommend you to go and just try. If you don't like something, just let us know. And we'll be there to help you out. Well said. Okay. Thank you both. Thanks to your uh, husband and dad, Omar. And uh, thanks for, for being here and sharing your story. It's, it's not only to me, it's, a, it's, it's not just a story about a restaurant. It's a story about a family. And you feel like you're at a family place. And I mean that in the highest regard. So thank, <laughs> thank you. you. I wish you great success. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Next time in Puerto Penasco, you might want to give your taste buds a thrill at Candy Cake. Hey, you can always walk off calories on the beach after. And if you enjoy this podcast, please support us by subscribing, downloading episodes, leaving a five-star review, and connecting with us and sharing in social media. You'll be eligible to win prizes and know you help keep us going and growing. Visit RockyPointPodcast.com for more info about this and about candy cake. I'm Thomas Baldrick. Until next time, adios, friends. We appreciate you being part of the Rocky Point Podcast.